From master suites to entire palaces, there's a lot you can do with an airplane. Here are 10 of the most insane private jets you won't believe actually exist. Number 10. Harrison Ford Cessna 680 Sovereign Harrison Ford is not just the pilot in Six Days, Seven Nights, or the driving force of the Millennium Falcon in Star Wars, but actually owns quite a few airplanes himself, with his pride and joy being his dark green Cessna 680 Sovereign. The Indiana Jones star Cessna is a luxury mid-sized private jet priced at around $18 million. It boards 12 passengers and two crew members and is currently the third largest aircraft in the Citation product line. The plane has a wingspan of 19 meters, a cruising speed of 852 kilometers per hour, and requires a takeoff field length of 3,500 feet. The 76-year-old Ford pilots his own planes and doesn't only do it for pure enjoyment, but also as a show of goodwill and generosity. In February of 2010, after the Haiti earthquake, Mr. Ford made several flights over two days, transporting medical supplies and volunteers, including anesthesiologists, surgeons, and nurses to the disaster-struck area. In 2017, Ford had a quick brush with death when he almost collided with a commercial airliner after mistaking the taxiway for a runway. This did not deter him, however, from getting back in the saddle and into the cockpit just days later. Due to the incident, Mr. Ford is currently under investigation, presently on hold due to a backlog, for his several accidents and near accidents, including a helicopter crash. Pending the outcome of the inquiry, he might have to face losing his license. He is hoping for a written warning, though, ensuring that he can continue his love for taking to the skies. Number 9. Tom Cruise Gulfstream 4 The Gulfstream 4 is well known for having the uppermost standards of extravagance and style, and this could be why the infamous movie star Tom Cruise has made this his aircraft of choice. The ultra-luxurious jet can fly up to 14 passengers and two crew members while having their every beck and call met by onboard personnel. She can fly for nearly 5,000 miles without needing to land to top up the gas tank. This model of plane is classified as a business aircraft and has a price tag of $36 million. It has the capability of climbing to an altitude of 45,000 feet, has a maximum range of 7,800 kilometers, and is powered by two Rolls-Royce T611 engines, with a maximum speed of Mach 0.80. A lovely little add-on is the air refresher system that regenerates the air inside the cabin every two minutes. The Top Gun actor is no stranger to sitting in the cockpit and obtained his pilot's license in 1944. He is the proud owner of a fleet of planes, consisting of not one, not two, but five private jets. It also seems that Tom Cruise might have misplaced his danger bone, as he is well known for performing his own stunts. One of the many rumors going around is that Mr. Cruise used to send his private jet for a quick trip to the grocery store to pick up his daily milk and bread for the family. While the rumor is pretty hard to believe, I mean, where would you park that thing, and what kind of grocery store are you going to? Neither Tom nor his ex-wife Katie ever publicly denied the allegation. I think they might be having a good laugh about this one. Publicity is publicity, whatever the source. On a more serious note, though, he has been at the center of a mob of enraged eco-lobbyists citing that his jets caused unnecessary CO2 emissions and it was dubbed Emissions Impossible. Number 8. Donald Trump Boeing 757 Having Air Force One at his immediate disposal, U.S. President Donald Trump no longer needs to have his personal Boeing 757 at the ready, a boy's toy that cost him a cool $100 million. Mr. Trump is not only the 45th President of the United States, but the first president that is used to having a personal Boeing airliner in a private hangar. Trump affectionately calls the big baby his T-Bird, which he has owned since 2011. The aircraft is entering old age at just over 20 years old, and once belonged to Sterling Airlines, a defunct Danish carrier, after which it was bought into a fleet of Mexico's Taesa, also now a defunct carrier. In 1996, Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen acquired the jet and the Boeing served as his corporate plane for 15 years. President Trump bought the jet in 2011 and personalized it to his liking at great expense. The airliner is powered by two incredibly powerful and not extremely fuel-efficient Rolls-Royce engines and can house as many as 239 passengers, but this one is configured for only 43. It has a silk-lined master bedroom, big-screen entertainment system, and a master bath with 24-karat gold fixtures. The plane has two bedrooms in total, and even the seatbelts are 24-karat gold-plated. 
There is a dining room with family crest embroidered seats, which are fitted with a personal entertainment system and can convert into beds. It also has a private guest room, the central lounge, and a luxurious galley where a chef prepares whimsical meals for the guests and crew. Trump went all out. I bet he misses that plane. Number 7. Tyler Perry Gulfstream 3 The well-known comedian, director, and actor Tyler Perry owns one of the world's most beautiful jets. It's considered a flying theater because of its big flat screen TVs, luxurious white leather couches, and recliners. This luxury airliner has a price tag of $125 million. It has a customized theater on board, of course, electronically controlled mood window shades, a formal dining room, a modern kitchen, and a private VIP bedroom. It is cited to be one of the highest performing, most lavish private jets in the world. Mr. Perry owns several aircraft, and in January 2018, it was reported that 81-year-old Kenneth Copeland, believed to be the wealthiest pastor in the world, bought Tyler Perry's Gulfstream 5 in cash for an undetermined and unconfirmed amount. I can just imagine the security accompanying that money transfer. The private jet arrived at Mr. Copeland's estate on January 12, 2018. In February of 2012, Mr. Perry offered his Gulfstream 3 up to carry the body of the deceased superstar singer Whitney Houston to her birthplace in Newark, New Jersey. Living up to his character role in his latest film, Good Deeds, Mr. Perry lent his private jet to Bobby Brown so he could be by his ailing daughter's side as she fought for her life in Georgia. Cobb County recently approved the request for Mr. Perry to receive $35.3 million in bonds and a 10-year tax abatement to store his private jets at the Cobb County International Airport. Number 6. Jim Carrey Gulfstream 5 Jim Carrey incorporated himself into the elite club of exclusive Gulfstream 5 jet private owners by purchasing one of these relatively rare planes. There are only approximately 100 of these planes in the world, and their price tag ranges in the vicinity of $41 million. It is one of the most extended range aircraft ever made. It can hold up to 16 passengers and fly near to the speed of sound. Jim's plane sports a very personal registration number, N162JC, with 162 referring to his birth date, January 1962, and JC to his initials. It has its own permanent, highly experienced crew of two and state-of-the-art avionics. It is one of the highest performing and safety intensive private jets in the world, boasting an ultra long range of an astonishing 12,000 kilometers, and it can fly at the height of 51,000 feet. You can charter this plane for around $8,500 per hour. As you can imagine, fuel is expensive. Number 5. Roman Abramovich, Boeing 767. As a stakeholder of Norilsk Nickel, the steel giant Evraz, and the owner of UK's Chelsea soccer team, this Russian-Israeli billionaire is no stranger to traveling in the lap of luxury. Mr. Abramovich owns a comprehensively modified Boeing 767, known as the Bandit, because of its unusual cockpit paint detail. This astounding luxury airline features chestnut interiors with gold-plated decorations all around the cabin and is fitted with a dining room that can sit 30 people. It is one of the safest aircraft in the world and includes a military-grade missile detection system. It was initially ordered by Hawaiian Airlines, and when the order was canceled, Mr. Abramovich saw his chance to grab it up. Because, wouldn't you? When it is not housing its owner for quick around-the-world trips, it is parked in a hangar at the Harrods Aviation Facility at Stansted Airport, UK. Number 4. Joseph Lau Boeing 747-81 this standard model with no extras included is priced at about $153 million. So why not flash a little more cash to personalize the ultimate luxury jet to suit your sense of style? At least that's what Hong Kong billionaire, and ironically a convicted felon, did when he purchased his Fly in the Sky Palace. This remarkable jet is not called the Dreamliner for nothing. A quick rundown of the features included in this airliner are vaulted ceilings, video displays on the walls, and a spiral staircase or two. It can easily carry up to 100 passengers, and the four-engine plane can fly up to 9,260 nautical miles. To put the size of the aircraft in a little bit of perspective, think over the following. If it were commercialized, it would carry several hundred passengers as the airliner offers 223 square meters of cabin space. The manufacturer of the luxury airliner announced the VIP order of Hong Kong's real estate tycoon, Joseph Lau, at the European Business Aviation Conference and Exhibition in Geneva, and the design was unveiled for the first time at the show. Mr. Lau was one of the first seven buyers in the world to snap up one of the newly designed private jets. Number 3. Oprah Winfrey Gulfstream G650 
In 2016, this brand new luxury jet, fit for a talk show host queen, was delivered to Oprah, and though it is not her first personal airliner, it's undoubtedly the most luxurious. The jet is manufactured by Gulfstream Aerospace and is considered to be the most beautiful private jet money can buy. The price tag for this winged beauty is approximately $65 million, but customization costs, to make it how Oprah would want it, can effortlessly push the price tag up to around $100 million. No problem. The G650 can carry up to eight passengers, plus the crew, for 7,000 nautical miles without refueling. It reaches speeds of up to 0.9 match, almost the speed of sound. It features two Rolls-Royce engines, and apart from being very fuel efficient, it also flies at very high altitudes, which allow it to soar above stormy weather and air traffic. The G650 is not only considered to be the best private jet money can buy, but it also flies faster, further, and higher than any other private business airliner in its class. Quick side note, Oprah also owns a Bombardier Global Express XRS plane. Number 2. Prince Al-Walid bin Talal, Boeing 747-400 Cash is usually not an issue for royalty, and in 2008, Prince Al-Walid bin Talal Al Saud placed his order for an Airbus A380, the world's largest private plane, for the trivial sum of $487 million. The Saudi prince is a businessman and investor and a philanthropist. With all this and his position as a royal, he needs proper transport, especially to commute between his three palaces. The 747 was initially crafted to accommodate 400 people when the prince bought the plane in 2003, but the prince customized it according to his personal tastes. It now boasts two luxurious bedrooms, a dining room that seats 14 people, and a throne in the middle of the cabin. There is also a separate seating area for commoners. Of course there is. Al-Walid is the nephew of Saudi Arabia's King Abdullah, who owns 95% of Kingdom Holding. He is a shareholder in various well-known corporations, including Apple, Twitter, and the Four Seasons Hotels. The prince is considered the wealthiest man in Saudi Arabia. The Boeing is not the only aircraft in his fleet, but it's probably the most luxurious. Remember, it is a flying palace, with 11 flight attendants to ensure the prince's utmost comfort at all times. The customization of the aircraft cost him a whopping $220 million. The Boeing 747-400 has an interior volume of more than three houses. Number 1. The Sultan of Brunei, Boeing 747-430 It just wouldn't do for a man of such great opulence to be seen globetrotting in a $100 million rudimentary Boeing 747. The Sultan is the wealthiest ruler in the world, and his luxury airliner was customized at the cost of $230 million. Although the jet has the capacity for 345 passengers, the Sultan had his plane redesigned as a home, giving the floating palace a run for its money. The interior of the cabin is a perfect example of living in the lap of luxury and only fit for the likes of a king. Even the hand basins are constructed out of solid gold and lalique crystal. The furniture is gold-plated and it is believed to be the world's most luxurious aircraft. It features a lounge, a lavish bedroom, and a master ensuite bathroom, featuring a whirlpool bath of pure gold. The airliner was purchased through Lufthansa for $120 million, and he spared no expense in stamping his personal taste on the interior. This is by no means his only aircraft, but it is His Majesty's largest. On January 11, 2013, it was photographed in Los Angeles International Airport, the key recognizable features being the wings and the underbelly that are painted dark gray. His Majesty at times seats himself in the pilot's seat, and when he landed at the airport in Palam, New Delhi on January 2018 for the Asian Summit, the welcoming party and ground crew were astonished to see the Sultan himself climb out of the cockpit. Pretty nice way to make an entrance. Thanks for watching! Which one of these jets was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below! Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you next time! Bye!